Welcome back team. You are gaming with the Colonel and this is Strategic Command WW2 World at War. Uh, we have two games we need to play, both against our subscribers. The first one which we will be going is against Epe Cape. And we'll find out what he has done on his turn. Very, very exciting. I always enjoy these subscriber games. It's they may do something different than the AI would have. Most of the times they do, right? Um, very exciting. You know, some people send the BEF. Some don't. That's the British Expeditionary Force into France. Um, some people send their entire Navy, British Navy, to the uh, Indian Ocean. You never know. I am very excited, however. Let's go see this replay. All right. More guys coming in around Nanning. That was to be expected. Looks like we have uh, continued protection of uh, the Maginot Line and things that go around it. Are we going to be able to see anything else or is it on us? <clears throat> I believe when last we left off, we had defeated Poland. And so this will be a a uh, movement episode getting our guys close back over to the other side. Let us see here. He's building, he looks like he's got an engineer here that's going to be building additional fortifications forward. Yeah, what he does know is I'm going to come from the south. Okay, uh, French morale suffers from the fall of Poland. That's good. And we disrupted a 36 military production points, so that's good. Danzig is back. Okay, let's see what happens. I don't see any force over here. Uh, let's just go ahead and take care of this first. So you're going to move out of there. You're going to move in. And uh, move forward. He's going to go here. This guy's going to go down there. He's going to travel back this way. He's going to take one more step forward. Uh, maybe over to El Alaguila. I'm not sure. But he's good for there for now. While we have the Italians going, we might as well go ahead and finish them out. And do the uh, subcontinent over here. Uh, he, unfortunately, is not maxed, which is bad. So we're going to place him here. He's going to come down this road, as he always does. He's going to go sit in there. Now we're going to go find our trusty transport. There he is. Supply of nine now. We're going to double click him because we're going to do a naval cruise because we can get him all the way down to here. Okay. He will continue further south or maybe just sit off this island. We'll just go sit off this island for now. And then we're going to head away next turn. Question is, is do we want to move these guys? They're doing good work, making them lose lots of uh, MMPs. But if he's got somebody coming over, then that's going to be a problem. Let's move on back to over this way a little bit. We want them to be surprised if they run into us. Okay, so that's all of the naval moves. Let's see what else we got going on over here for the Italians. Uh, it's raining here, so not too many things going on. We definitely want to reinforce him. I'm going to get him maxed. Okay. And we're going to want to reinforce this guy as well. What's that going to cost? More than I have. But, so that really could wait. That could wait. How about him? Yeah, let's make him max. There we go. All right, so that's it for that turn. For the Italians, let's find out what the Germans want to do. Well, so there hasn't been a lot of stuff happening here. Boy, I would like to get the Navy out, but that's just too dangerous, right? So, um, so what are we going to do? The first thing we're going to do is do some research. Okay, for the Germans. Infantry Weapons 2 is going. We want to get Advanced Tank 2. 
brings us down to 400. In fact, we want to get uh, two of those. Well, we can't. Cancel. No. Um, could get advanced fighters. And we definitely want that. Because his fighters are better than mine. And we want naval weaponry if we have it. We, do, we could do that. A naval weaponry would be good for our... Uh, Bismarck and the Tirpitz when they come out and then that'll be done um, I could spare that for another time and go ahead and up industrial technology the sooner I get that the better um, boy that's tough tough naval technology is naval attack carrier attack naval defense and resource attack values so that's good to have, and so is this right here. Naval Warfare gives you plus 10 yeah, for morale. These are things I'm going to need for sure, but I think I'm going to go ahead and pop Industrial Technology times 2. Okay, which leaves me with very little money, but that's okay. We're going to do a lot of movement. Um, and I've got to leave two guys over here. But let's go ahead and move the tanks. So let's see here. This is a one, two, three, four, five. If I put a tank over there, then perhaps I can go faster, further, quicker and invade over here against. So I've got a couple of turns to get them there, so I might as well force march them. I'm going to have to repair them. Let's see. Will that extra move help? He's only got five action points, and this is one, two, three, four, five. And he might be able to get there. All right, but then will I be able to use him coming back out? I think so. We just have to have a clear turn in the wintertime if we're going to go after Denmark. <clears throat> so we'll move him as fast as we can in that direction. Uh, you, my friend, need to get upgraded. Um, but I can go ahead and fly you within five hexes of Copenhagen. One, two, three, four, five. So right here is fine. Um, let's wait and see where all of these guys can move to. He's going to come here. He's going to come here. He's going to come there. This guy needs two turns to be effective. Plus one to move is three. So we're looking at three turns to get before we can attack Copenhagen. One, two, three, four, five. So there. Here. One, two, three, four, five. Here. He's got an operational range of six. Pretty sure. Properties. Range. Strike range six. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. It can be all the way down here. One, two, three, four, six. Right there next to Hamburg, I guess. So we'll wait on him for just a second, see how far these guys can go. Yeah, exactly. So he's going to go there. He's going to go there. Just going to move these guys. There's no reason to force march these guys at the moment. Um, We'll have plenty of time to get on over there. Some of these slower guys I might force march. However, these guys will probably get there on time. Don't want them to lose too much morale. This guy's going to just hang out here. You're going to come on back. You're going to get Forest March because you're slow. And let's go ahead and Forest March you. Just because you're all the way over there. All right, so what we got is we have this guy sitting in modeling. 
of this guy sitting here, that takes care of our two units. These guys are important, that's fine. He's going to come over here and be six hexes away. One, two, three, four, five, six for the attack on Denmark when I take it. It's better than paying money. Um, and then I'll need to uh, bring him right back down. So what we need to do is we need to move him again. So that's one, two, three more turns before he's even ready and if he's sitting here on the corner. Okay, so that's movements for the Germans. Let's go ahead and upgrade this guy. Give him an advanced fighter. He needs uh, additional reinforcements. This guy. Oh, hold on. So does he. Upgrade him. And that's all our money. And that, that is it. We're not doing a lot this time. <laughs> a lot of movement for the Germans. Okay, so and a lot of research. Our research is currently 1,500 of 2,000, so... You know, we're getting close. Uh, the high-speed, low-drag Japanese. They are already working on their second level here. They're working on their second level here. Uh, excuse me for just a second. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. I had a phone call. Um, so what do we want to research here? We definitely want to do research. I think we need, you know, amphibious assault would be good. Logistics is also good. And the reason I say that is because it increases, it decreases the cost for transports, right? So, uh, and increases the build limits for transport. So we kind of want that. And we kind of want artillery weapons. And we have enough for both of them. Okay, so we're going to do artillery weapons. And we're going to do, you know what, we're going to do logistics next time. I want enough money for an actual artillery unit. And it looks like I now don't have that because I needed 200. Okay, so I guess I'm going to hold off and I'll research in just a second um, if I have the money left. All right, so what are we doing over here? We definitely want to be stomping on this guy. So Nanning is going to get the, the entrenchment reduced. Okay, so he's good. Uh, then we're going to attack him. God, I wish I'd... Oh, I do have another unit handy. How far can he go? He can go up to here. Okay, so what I can do is get up in there. Let me... Well, I guess I can't undo that one. So I've got action points here. So I need to hit him and run. But how much? That's one. Okay, so I'll hit him. That hurt. And I'll move on up. I'll hit him again. That hurt. Okay. Then I'll hit him again. That did nothing. Now what about these guys? I don't know that this is worth it. At the moment. His morale is low. I think I'm going to wait until next turn. This guy here needs to get uh, upgraded. Otherwise, he's not worth it. Oh, and I'm bringing over another guy, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and jump on him. Him on up here. And we'll pop on in there, and that's fine. Okay, you have to find a new home. I guess these guys can still get upgraded in this five space. Yes, okay, so you can go here. You are going to come here. I'm going to upgrade you next time. All right, so. That is that. Now, over here, we do kind of want to eliminate this dude right here, and we've got an inn where we can kind of smoke him. Problem is, the problem is twofold. One, that I don't have enough units around him yet. I don't really want to lose something, bringing his entrenchment level down, which is currently four. Okay, so you cannot get your elite reinforcements for some unit. Why is that? Let me check on supply. It's a five. It needs to be a six. All right. So this guy's definitely got to come down. So you're going to come here. Here. You're going to 
come in here. You need to move somewhere. Nowhere good to move to. Uh, he'll go here. The army will come, cannot come down. Well, that was a mistake. That was a huge mistake. So, I'll bring him back. So that he can get upgraded next time. That's not even worth attacking, I don't think. I'll go ahead and do it. Bring down the entrenchment level. Reduce his morale a little bit. Wasn't really worth it, but I really need to get into there. Um, so there's not going to be as much going on here as I had hoped. I could attack this guy. Ooh, that's better. It's always good when you can hurt him, right? Ooh. Should I do it? Where's my escort carrier? He's here. He can upgrade to long-range aircraft. He should probably do that. Um, all right. He can't reach, so he's going to want to upgrade the long-range aircraft. He can reach. Maybe I can destroy this guy. Well, that didn't help any. Uh, all right. Let's move you to here for a second. We'll move him up and try the same thing. I should be able to destroy him. He's down to one. That really blows. These guys are bombers, man. When shouldn't they be bombing something? My goodness. All right. That's, that was suboptimal, right? All right, so what are we doing in the north here? Okay, I've got a couple of guys that need to come over, so they need to be transported. 15 for that. You're moving over here, getting on, and moving up. Okay. That leaves me with 154. It costs 150 to do production but only 100 for logistics, uh, blah, 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 blah. but also 150 for command and control. So we're going to do that. Command and control is extremely important for so that these guys can command and control more units. Um, or do I do logistics? Which one, which one, which one? Command and control. Hmm. Yeah, command and control. Okay. And we'll close, leaving us with no money, which means I cannot transport him, which is unfortunate. Okay. So, I also can't upgrade these guys, which is also unfortunate. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I should have went with logistics and then upgraded some more units. Transported some more units. Might have been better. Might have been a better choice. But we live and we learn. All right, so since I've got him there, he's no longer required. So he's going to move. He's going to force march, which means he can move two to here. Why am I going to do that? There's a reason for it. Okay, this guy. This guy can get to where? We force march him. He can only get to there, but that's good enough. I think he can get force marched into here, yes. So he can leave. So he's going to go ahead and get force marched south as far as possible. He gets force marched north. He gets force marched over there. Okay, so we're all good there. This guy here is just going to come down one because I can't upgrade him. So all I really need to do is move him down one. Okay. Now, 
So this guy is now free, and this guy is free. That guy is currently not free. Where can he get to? Oh, he can get to there. That's perfect. So he's going to go there. He doesn't know I'm force marching this guy in here, but I'm going to do it. Same thing with him. He doesn't know I'm force marching this guy into here, but I'm going to do it. Okay, so um, that means I can move him down. Because this guy's covering these two partisans right here, and that guy can go as far as I can possibly get him next time. All right, so that takes care of all the movement over here. I really need to keep a unit back over there. He needs to stay there for now. How the partisan's looking over here. Yep, the fighter needs to stay where he's at for now. I think we're done, guys. I think we're done. Didn't get as far as I wanted to. I did get, I managed to get across the river with this guy, so that'll help. He's going to probably reinforce him or move him out, but in any case, he'll get ready to get stomped here in the near future. Did make a mistake by researching the 150 instead of the 100. The 100 will have, would have allowed me to uh, give some additional um, units over here, which would have been good to use. Okay, I think I'm going to hit the go button to see what happens. Did I neglect anything? I think I moved those. I moved him, right? Yeah. Um, there's nobody out there. I took care of this over here. I did. And um, these guys are about where I can get them. Everybody's moved. Army's coming over. Yep, looks like it's it. Let's hit the go button and find out what happens. Do I really want to end this turn? Not really, but we're going to do it. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, Allied Razors disrupt German convoys. Really? So they're up there. I'm glad I didn't come out in force and try to find them. Those aircraft carriers would kick my butt. And I think that's it for this. Uh, you've been gaming with the Colonel. Please like, subscribe, come back early and often. Find out how this game is going to go against Epe Kepe, one of my subscribers. But for now, I'm out.